It's been rough going for the Galaxy Note 7 the past week. Samsung just issued a complete recall of the phone due to 35 cases of just exploding batteries. If you missed our review of the Note 7, I liked it so much, I bought one for myself. This is my daily driver and it looks like they're gonna pry it out of my hands. So if you bought a Galaxy Note 7, the carriers are still in the process of letting you know what they're going to do. But as of right now, they've issued updates for each and today is September 2nd. So if you have an AT&T phone like I do, AT&T has stopped selling the device and they're in the process of determining what they're going to do next. If you're with Verizon, they've also stopped selling the device and through September 30th, they're gonna completely waive the restocking fee if you bought one and you want to just return it. So it's a good opportunity maybe if you got a few scratches, maybe a little crack on it and you wanna return or exchange it when the new devices are available. You can do that. Keeping tune with the other two carriers, T-Mobile has completely stopped selling device, but beyond that, they don't know yet. They're still finalizing what they're going to do. Sprint, again, stopped selling device and offering customers who bought one a similar device until the issue is resolved. So Galaxy S7, Galaxy S7 Edge, for example. Uh, this is close to unprecedented for a company. And in one ways, I give Samsung credit for issuing a recall now before there are millions of more devices out there. Uh, on the other hand, Damn, that sucks. Like, big time hit to the credibility of Samsung uh, and to Note 7. You could argue it one of two ways. A, good for Samsung taking care of their customers. On the other hand, oof, are their products going to explode? Uh, I don't think my phone is going to explode. I'm not worried that it's gonna be in my pocket and it's gonna poof out. Uh, you know, I did mention a review, the phone got really, really hot and warm. I know some explosions have happened during charging. So maybe it could be affected. I don't know if I'm gonna swap my phone out for a new one. Uh, mostly, I just don't really want to set one up again, despite Samsung having really cool features for moving content over from one device to the next. Uh, but we will see. What are you guys going to do with your Note 7? Uh, is really what, what I want to know. Leave the comments down below. And if you haven't bought a Note 7, is this going to totally deter you from picking one up? Are you going to wait for the next next Pixel Google phones? coming out relatively soon, or maybe go something from LG uh, or another manufacturer. I really want to know. Uh, I'm going to still keep using this phone and hope it doesn't explode in my pocket.